Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode from Backyard Boys. If you guys are new to this channel, go ahead and lightly tap that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to show your support by smashing that like button and let's continue with this video. In the previous episode on the C63 AMG, I told you guys that we're gonna start this episode off with some priming. Reason for that is because we did a lot of sanding and blocking and mudding in the last episode and then there was just simply no point of showing that all again in this episode. So this quarter panel here is ready for primer. I went ahead and took out the big scratches in the bodywork. This over here, I'm gonna pull the tape and I'm gonna soft pad and get all these scratches out. And we're gonna go ahead and prime this in right here. The reason why we're gonna prime this in uh, before you know the rest of the car is ready for primer is because I know I'm gonna prime this at least two times. I really, really wanna see how the bodywork on this quarter panel is. I want it to be absolutely perfect. So let's go ahead and mask this thing off properly, get this whole entire car masked off. That way we can prime this and we can continue working with sanding that front piece out and fixing the rest of this quarter panel all over here. So I guess without much further talking, let's get this thing masked off, put some primer on and continue working.
That's all soft lines, baby. Let's go. Well, boys, it is finally looking somewhat like a car. Everything's coming together pretty darn amazing. We went ahead and readjusted this gap just a little bit, made it tighter up and, you know, just kind of push the whole entire trunk backwards. The way this trunk mechanism works though is really, really funny. Like it's kind of, I don't know, like we pushed it forward, but then like the trunk lifted and made it all lopsided and everything, but we got it all set. Both sides are even now. Uh, what we got to do now is actually pull the tail light back off. I just kind of put it in there just to make it look like a car. Uh, we're gonna pull that back out, remove this bracket, and then seam seal all the stuff that we repaired all up in here, and then repair all of this, sand it down, and then mud it out. That way we can prime it and um, basically that is there. And when, when we prime that, I think most likely we're gonna prime all of this over here because that's just right about ready for primer as well. So let's get that repaired and continue working. So we've been doing a lot of busting as you guys saw in those scenes. Man, all this stuff is taking so much time, but we want it to be 100% perfect. I see the comments, you guys are commenting, Tim the perfectionist, things like that. No, it's just a nice car and I want everything to look absolutely perfect. I don't want anything to you know, catch my eye once the car is all done. But right now we're ready for primer. This is some 2K primer. This is some really good stuff. Our local Wesco uh, sells it. And everything here is prepped off, masked off. The whole car is masked off. Everything's looking pretty. We're ready to start priming. Let's get it. So as you guys know that we are working on a couple videos at once, we got the exhaust installed. I hope you guys seen that video. If you haven't, go check it out. It's absolutely insane. But we're gonna continue with the body work. What we're gonna do is finish up this box area over here. It's kind of dusty because we went for a ride and dirt went up in here. But we're gonna go ahead and finish the repair in this box section. And then we got two bumpers to prep out, make sure they're all ready, basically repaired and primed uh, before we go to the body shop. So let's get working on this right here. We gotta pull the tail light and then start doing some knickknacking over here, making sure everything's nice and flush, some seam sealing, and I think we might have just a little bit of welding. Went ahead and got all this stuff knocked out, looking pretty darn good. It's not gonna be absolutely perfect because it's got all these factory crevices and bends everywhere. We made it as good as we can. This piece over here, we're probably gonna get a new one uh, just simply because it's bent. But this actual box itself, we made it nice and neat. Everything is, you know, clipped into position. 
so we're good right here what we're actually gonna do right now is weld in this hole right here we made to pull this whole entire section out and then we got to weld this little thing right here and then what I'm gonna do is cut the seam seal off and re-seam seal it that way it looks as OEM as we can get it and then once again we're gonna test the tail light test the bumper bracket test everything and then continue working on the rear bumper as you guys know there's damage right here to the rear bumper so the rear bumper itself is a little bit warped we're gonna have to heat it play with it and get a perfect gap right over here let's continue working So moving on forward, we went ahead and welded up these holes. Everything is looking pretty. This area back here is ready to get sanded down with a DA and apply just a little bit of mud, make it all nice and pretty. But before we do all of that, we need to pull off the front bumper. The front bumper here is literally just, it was one screw right here. It's all loose, but we're gonna go ahead and tear apart every single piece on the front bumper, take a look at and assess what needs to be painted, what doesn't need to be painted and start repairing all of that stuff. Let's go ahead and start doing that right now. So it is now time to start fixing up the bumpers. We went ahead and marked all the scratches on the bumpers. We're actually gonna go ahead and fill in these bumper holes or the license plate holes as well because they're kind of ugly. We want a clean front slate and they're kind of diagonal. Whoever put them on, I don't know why they put it on wrong. Anyways, the tape here marks all the scratches, all the imperfections on the bumper. I have a 180 grit over here because nothing of this, um, none of these scratches are severe. So I'm gonna use a 180 grit, make sure everything comes out and then probably finish it at 320 and prime right after that. Uh, just cause the bumper plastic 
when you prime over 180, it has like these little hairs sticking out. So you want to finish in at 320 before priming it. Let's get the sandpaper on and let's get to repairing this bumper. And then after this, we got to repair the rear one. The rear one's a little bit more difficult. We got to test it up to the car and fix it up to the body line of the quarter panel because that's where it's kind of warped up. So everything here on the bumper basically came out with just 180 grit, got all the deep scratches out, everything, and I reworked the body lines. Everything is all basically perfectly inspected. By reworking the body lines, I mean like the scratch was right over here. So what I ended up doing was making it just a little bit sh sharper and then rounding off the body line so you'll never literally in your life tell and then there's gonna be no glaze, no mud or anything. But we did need some glaze <laughs> and some very deep scratches like right over there. And then we used some just tiny bit of deep ones. We went ahead and mudded in these four holes. We'll glued them in first of all with some plastic repair. And then I made, as you guys saw, I made the holes more not like not as sharp because when they're sharp, you can never actually get them all filled in perfectly. Made them all subtle. And then I filled them in, added some glaze right over here because this hole is right on the body line and everything's nice and neat. Right now we just finished it off with a 400 grit soft pad. Make sure everything is easy and there's no hairs sticking up inside this uh, it's called plastic the raw plastic and then right after that we're gonna go ahead and go over the whole entire thing in some red scotch bright get it primed out and sent off to our body shop to get it painted so let's get this thing all red scotch brighted out and then we have one more rear bumper to repair and that's it for body work <laughs>
Well, 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 this episode has come to an end and I just wanna go over everything we have done because we got a ton of work in this episode. Took us a couple of days to make because we're in the mix of make, uh, making the exhaust video. We're in the mix of making the first test drive video. And uh, I think this is the episode where we primed the quarter panel, correct? Yeah. Anyways, we got the quarter panel primed out. I already started blocking it for primer round number two. Over here, we're waiting for some seam sealer. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish that off camera. You guys saw how I do seam sealer. I'm just gonna tape it along this line uh, where the old seam sealer was. Put some new seam sealer on there. Try to match this texture, texture as much as I can. And then basically pull that tape off and give it that OEM look. But we got these prepped out. These are the rear pieces on the rear bumper. A lot of people are saying that these are ugly and we should remove them. But I mean, for me personally, it's not that big of a deal for me to go and remove them because we have a US spec uh, license plate. I understand the Euro license plate, it probably goes out all the way here. So it kind of looks pretty good, but it's gonna be like a big flat empty spot. And it's just, a lot of work just to patch yeah, all this stuff too. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot too. of work too, that's true. Um, anyways, this front of the piece of quarter panel is done. It's all blocked out inside, not blocked out, sorry, primed out on the inside. And then this door right here, it looked very small. The dent was just like right here and we had a little Audi basically sticking out. I started blocking it and I realized that this whole entire area is a funny spot. I guess from the impact itself, it wasn't like direct right here, it was directly right here, but it kind of trickled the damage everywhere. Right now it feels nice and neat. Um, as for the front bumper, oh wow. Front bumper is right over there. It's all primed out and everything is basically ready for paint. As for, I mean, it's not everything, sorry. The front and rear bumper are ready for primer and paint. But I'm gonna catch you guys in the next episode. In the next episode, we're gonna get closer to paint. Most likely prep everything out and uh, maybe even drop it off at paint. Not too sure just yet. We do have a very exciting video coming out this Sunday with some RS3 tuning stuff. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure you turn on your post notifications. Make sure you guys press that subscribe button. You will not regret it. And with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I apologize for any kind of mix ups or confusion simply because the video took multiple days to put together into one. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Peace out. I'm gonna catch you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to follow my Instagram at BYBTim. Cop yourself some merch to support the boys and I'm out.